assalamu alaikum warahmatullah so from today onwards i'm going to be starting a new set of videos which are called the parables of the quran uh, allah has given different examples in the quran to make uh, to make us understand different uh, concepts and different things and um, uh, it takes some time to listen to uh, different lectures and then make up notes so i'll be making only one video every week on fridays because i don't make other videos on fridays so inshallah i'll be making one video about the parable um, doing e one parable every week inshallah that's the plan so today i am going to do the parable of fire and flames which is in surah al-baqarah ayah number 17 so let's start auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim i pray to allah that he gives me clarity of speech and i'm able to convey the message so um, the ayah is masaluhum kama salil zistaw kadnaran falamma adaat ma hawlahu zahab allah bi nurihim their example is that of someone who kindles a fire but when it lights up all around them Allah takes away their light leaving them in complete darkness unable to see so this was about from the Quran let's study my notes which I made so this is my pathetic effort to make flames okay so in the Makkan Quran Quraysh are compared with Firon and um, um, uh, a lot of Makkan Quran uh, Firon is mentioned a lot in the Makkan Quran and Firon is, uh, and when the Prophet ﷺ migrated to Medina, a new group developed, uh, which was hypocrites or munafikeen. So munafikeen, uh, munafikeen were not in uh, Makkah; they were true disbelievers in Makkah. And then these munafikeen they developed when Prophet ﷺ migrated to Medina. In Madni Quran, Bani Israel uh, and how they made uh, things dif uh, difficult for Prophet Musa are mentioned, and their actions are compared to the munafikeen because uh, Bani Israel were the people of uh, Prophet Musa, and then how they made things difficult. Why isn't focusing better okay how they made things difficult for prophet musa uh, they uh, their actions are compared with munafikeen so surah bakara starts with ayah about the believers there are about five ayahs about believers and then there are about uh, two ayahs about disbelievers and then uh, uh, which are the kuffar so two are the kuffar are described in two ayahs and then there are 13 ayahs about munafikeen because they have so many traits that we need to understand like what they uh, uh, who they are so allah says that these muna these munafikeen have a disease in their heart and their disease is increased and munafikeen think that they're super smart but allah calls them fools because they don't even know how they make fool of themselves so this is the example that we're going to do today for surah al-baqarah i just read that the example of that someone who kindles um, the, their example the example of munafikeen is that of someone who kindles a fire but when it lights up all around them Allah takes away their light leaving them in complete darkness unable to see now let's try to understand this step by step this is the example of hypocrites Allah says that their likeness is that of the likeness of the one who kindled a fire someone who kindled a fire and then when it illuminated all around him what happened here Allah likened or compared the hypocrites uh, uh, who bought deviation or misguidance over guidance thus being blind to uh, uh, thus being blind and they are uh, compared to the example of a person who started a fire so when the fire was lit and illuminated the surrounding area the person benefited from it and felt really safe so the munafikeen felt really safe then the fire was suddenly extinguished and they were left in complete darkness covered the and they were unable to see anything now how this example is uh, of the munafikeen such is the case of hypocrites or munafikeen who preferred misguidance over guidance this parable indicates that hypocrites first believed then they disbelieved Allah says in the Quran, Zahab Allahu bi nurihim, Allah removed their light. Allah removed the light of beneficial light of guidance from them and left them in complete darkness of misguidance because of their disbelief and hypocrisy. So, Hazrat Abdullah bin Masood said about this parable that when Prophet Muhammad ﷺ migrated to Medina, some people became Muslims and after that they became hypocrites. So, when they saw that saw that the people Muslims were uh, won battle of Badr and they were getting so much um, uh, spoils from the war, they really uh, got excited and some many people uh, they accepted Islam. But then later on, when difficulties came, they uh, they, they became hypocrites. They did not want to um, be Muslims anymore, but they pretended to be Muslims. So their example is such of a person who was in darkness of misguidance. So before Prophet migrated to Medina, they were in the uh, uh, darkness of misguidance. They were worshiping idols, and then after that they accepted 
accepted Islam and uh, the light was lit around them, the light of guidance which um, made their surroundings really bright and they got benefits also. But then as they became, uh, but afterwards as things got difficult, uh, some difficult ayahs of the Quran were revealed, they became hypocrites and they lost the light of guidance and again they were surrounded by darkness of misguidance. So they were surrounded by dark, darkness of misguidance because they preferred that uh, misguidance over guidance. They were not able to um, uh, tolerate the difficulty so they became hypocrites and they lost all their light. It's not that they did not know what the truth was, they knew what the truth was but in uh, even then they prefer to be um, of a hypocrite so that is why their light was taken away and they were left in complete darkness so this was the first parable that i wanted to do today inshallah i'll study the next parable in the next week and make notes and may inshallah on friday i will make the video of the next uh, parable i hope i was uh, able to make it make it a little easier um may allah accept it that's all for today fi amanallah